With the addition of this new ferry, the Lower East Side hugging the East River is no longer a transportation desert. It's a neighborhood without a lot of transportation options. Michael Marino is a Lower East Sider and says the addition of the NYC ferry line in his neighborhood will completely transform his commute. I work at Baruch College, so when I want to get to work, it involves me taking the M14A bus to the Delancey Essex stop, hopping on the F train, taking that to Broadway Lafayette, transferring to the 6, and then taking that to my final destination at 23rd Street. We feel your pain. <laughs> this behind me right here is going to cut that commute to a third of the amount of time. That commute usually takes me over 30 minutes. This will take me from here at Corlears and getting off at Stuyvesant Cove, 10 minutes I'm at work. Um, as a matter of fact, the whole route uh, of this new line from Long Island City down to Wall Street, I can travel that whole route in the same amount of time it used to take me to get to work by subway and bus. Michael is not alone, though we didn't see the lines with people clamoring to get on, which some believe will change as the word gets out. The riders we talked to said this new waterway line is a welcome addition. It would have been a 7 to the F, which can take a long time, and then it's a far walk. I had to go to a location near the water anyway, so suddenly became almost a direct trip. And if you've taken a look, it may seem like the East River is a little busier than in years past. Your eyes aren't deceiving you. Waterway transportation has been a major initiative for Mayor Bill de Blasio. As New Yorkers, we know plenty. And Michael, your story speaks volumes. We know plenty about the buses. We know plenty about the subways. We know about the challenges they face. We know about how crowded the subways are and the challenges the subway system face. We know the streets are congested. We know we need new ways to get around. We are not going to be the city that we are meant to be if we don't have better options. And that's what led us to NYC Ferry. The Lower East Side route runs from Long Island City in Queens, then to East 34th Street, then to Stuyvesant Cove near East 20th Street, Corlier's Hook near Grand Street, and finally, Wall Street. It costs $275 for a ride, the same as an MTA fare. However, there is no free transfer to buses and trains, but there is a free transfer to other ferry lines. The opening of this latest route is the last leg of the mayor's initial push to use the East River as a transportation waterway. It took three years because we literally had to figure out everything. What would the routes be? How do we build the docks? Where do we get the boats? We had to actually find a way to get the boats made for the NYC ferry system. Then we figured out we needed bigger boats because the ferry system was so popular. Three years in the making, but we have gotten there now. Six lines fully operational as of today. And what we are finding is New Yorkers love the ferry. They love to be out on the water. We've spent our whole life looking at it. It's time to actually get out there and be on it and travel around on it. Here's a quick look at all six lines of the NYC ferry system. All the ferries currently run in the East River. The Astoria line in orange runs from Astoria to Roosevelt Island and works its way downtown, terminating at Wall Street. The Rockaway line in magenta goes from Wall Street, stopping in Brooklyn before it reaches Rockaway. Back at 34th Street, you have the East River line in teal, serving Hunter's Point and several stops in Brooklyn, with the summer service going to Governor's Island. Staying in Brooklyn, there's the South Brooklyn line in pink, and that goes from Wall Street down to Bay Ridge. We can't forget about the newest part of the system in yellow, the Lower East Side Line that goes from Long Island City to 34th Street and down to Wall Street. And finally, the Soundview Line in purple, which also debuted this year. That line goes from Soundview in the Bronx to East 90th Street, making its way downtown and finally ending at Wall Street. We're reaching a lot of communities that literally were cut off in too many ways. Soundview in the Bronx, Red Hook in Brooklyn, the Rockaways, so many communities that have been yearning for, in fact, decades for this opportunity. The, the ferry service in the Bronx is the first since the 1930s, just to give you an example of how long we've been waiting. I think it's great. It's the uh, best office you could have. Captain Jared McManus is one of about 350 workers hired to get the line up and to get riders who've been waiting for the service. He's been captaining boats for several years and hopped on board NYC Ferry when the line first opened last year. To you and I, captaining a boat seems pretty straightforward. Steer the boat and throttle up. Uh, there's a lot more to it than that, and I can tell you that much. Uh, there's a lot of boats, a lot of traffic. Like I said, conditions, uh, they can change on a dime. You go from unlimited visibility to you can't see the bow of the boat. 
Um, you know, it's one of the busiest waterways in the country, so you have to stay on top of your toes. A job that looks like it certainly will keep him busy. The mayor says the ferries have carried more than 6 million passengers since the service began last May, far exceeding what he and the city were expecting. It looks like it's not just the city that's taken to waterway travel. We've added a lot of boats and, um, you know, on top of that, there's been a lot. A lot of the other ferry services are, are expanding as well. So even in that one year, it's it's grown pretty, and for everyone coming in, pretty large. To meet with other men, NYC Ferry says it added several 350 passenger capacity boats to its fleet and plan to add even more next year. The mayor says the six lines of NYC Ferry are part of his first phase of his ferry project and says plans are already in the works to bring even more ferry service to other parts of the city, which could include the Hudson River.